Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. For the rear underbody of Model Y, Tesla announced that it would be utilizing single-piece megacasts. The innovation was praised by many automotive veterans, including Sandy Munro. Tesla announced that for the rear and front underbody of Model Y, it would be utilizing 6,000-ton gigapress machines to produce the megacasts. An image of the front underbody of Model Y was shared by Axel Truck, Managing Director of ML Turk Limited Liability Company. The images were from Texas, United States. The Megacast is the first of its kind, and it is produced with the help of an IDRA machine. The complex and daunting size of the Megacast makes it quite remarkable. At the 2020 Battery Day event, Tesla demonstrated slides featuring the 6,000-ton Gigapress machine that was set to produce the Megacast. The Megacast itself makes it difficult to identify the exact vehicle model, but it is identical in shape to the Model Y front Megacast that was displayed on the slides as well. With the new battery pack technology, Tesla has also started producing the first Model Y Megacast at its Gigafactory in Texas. It was first unveiled at the Battery Day event last year with the launching of the new 4680 battery cells. Tesla got the inspiration of building a battery pack from the aerospace innovation, treating the wings as fuel tanks. The battery pack will be built as a part of the vehicle's body structure by linking the rear and front underbody parts. The battery pack is built by forming modules by combining cells. It is then installed into the vehicle platform, helping to solidify the platform into one unit. With this, the company will link the single large piece of the rear and front underbody to the structural battery pack. This notable design comes with various advantages, such as the reduction of the number of components alongside with that of the battery pack's total weight, thus improving the range and efficiency of the vehicle. The production of the new Megacasts has begun. To create a single three-part vehicle platform, the Megacast parts go on both sides of the battery pack. In the automotive industry, such large casting parts have not been made so far. The castings are generally small in size and are assembled by linking smaller pieces. Earlier this year, at the Gigafactory Texas, the delivery of the IDRA machine was announced and it was seen operating later. It is this 900,000-pound machine that is used to produce the Megacast. A Megacast produce weighs about 130 kgs and is utilized as a Model Y component at Tesla Gigafactory Texas. The new battery structure will reduce 10% weight of the vehicles, which means that Tesla has reached its goal of making its vehicles much more efficient. The range of the cars can also be increased by 14% with the new battery technology. The Tesla Model Y, equipped with the new structural battery pack, will be able to cover 371 miles, compared with its initial estimated range of 326 miles. The vehicle will also be lighter in weight, giving a better quarter-mile run with an improved 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time. The chief executive officer of Mass Luminosity and the Tesla Model S owner, Angel Munoz, has been working with Beacon for Tesla for a year now. According to Mr. Munoz, the Tesla infotainment system could be utilized in many not-so-obvious ways. With Tesla's vehicle infotainment system, the Tesla cabins are considered the most versatile spaces out there. Recently, an in-car video conference call was held by Munoz, with him inviting Teodor Astroshenko, Beacon's senior VP of technology, and Tesla Ruddy to the conference call. Astroshenko explained the process and steps to join the call. The first step requires setting it all up by getting in your Tesla. Next, you will have to launch the browser. Once it has been done, please type in beaconcapitalx.com forward slash Tesla. Following this, a QR code will pop up. To log in, the Beacon app will automatically scan the QR code, logging you into the car. After that, you can join the call, which will appear on the screen. Munoz further explained how the Beacon for Tesla works. It does so through the driver's phone. The phone performs three functions. First, it works by streaming the sound of the Tesla vehicle through the speakers of the car. Second, the microphone of the phone is accessed via Bluetooth. Third, it streams the video. As of now, the owners do not have the access to the onboard computer, which forces them to utilize their phones instead. The service will be officially launched on the 7th of July 2021, yet even at the moment, up to six people can actually use Beacon's services free of charge. 
If the beacon for Tesla had access to the in-cabin cameras active in Tesla Model Y and Model 3, the app could perform much better, providing the in-car video conferencing service. It has already been announced that a more powerful infotainment system with cameras facing the cabin will be made available in Tesla Model X Plaid and Model S Plaid. Moreover, both the Tesla Plaid models will have noise cancellation feature as well as appropriate speakers, making the in-car video conference calls exciting and impressive. Munoz and Astrashenko are willing to work with Tesla's Beacon 4 service. They also listed down some of the challenges they had to face while making the conference call with Tesla. Furthermore, they stated that the Beacon for Tesla is free and is a gift from them to Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk. The Beacon for Tesla also comes with Beacon X, a conference call service that pairs with phones, laptops, and other similar devices. We expect Tesla to launch a new Tesla App Store once its full self-driving system is functional. However, even at the moment, such apps as Beacon for Tesla can prove to be useful for Tesla owners. For several years on end, Tesla engineers have been working hard, refining and improving its autopilot and full self-driving features through hundreds of hours of coding, software development and update deliveries. However, some people have been also hard at work trying to bypass the safety measures introduced by the company in order to guarantee that drivers actually remain attentive to what is going on around their vehicles. People have been trying to cheat the existing safety sensors at the vehicle seat belts, steering wheels, and seats for quite a while now. The aim pursued autopilot system activation without anyone in the driver's seat. Such reckless Tesla owners should be definitely held accountable for their actions, since by messing up with their vehicles, they endanger not only their lives, but also those of other drivers. On numerous occasions, Tesla has emphasized that its vehicles cannot drive themselves, something that can only happen once the Level 5 autonomy has been achieved. Tesla has also indicated the safety precautions that drivers should be taking in order to drive responsibly. Moreover, there is the whole autopilot jail concept, which essentially means that abusing the feature might lead you to indefinite ban from it. Even after a number of Tesla autopilot-related incidents, a few stores kept on selling specialized Tesla cheat devices developed in order to interfere with the vehicle's safety features, arguably to give the drivers some extra relax time or an opportunity to do something more useful than simple driving. Should you be considering purchasing of such a device, you should know that its usage would mean the company is divesting itself of all the responsibilities for the vehicle's behavior. Moreover, those Tesla drivers who are not in the vehicle's driver's seat during its motion will also be punished in accordance with the provisions of a new law recently adopted in order to stop anything like this from happening. Even with the Tesla autopilot feature on, you should be in the driver's seat of your vehicle. For your own safety, as well as for that of your loved ones, please take this matter seriously. Recently, Elon Musk announced the expansion of Tesla FSD beta testing pool, which means more people will have a chance to experience this incredible feature. However, should Tesla drivers with the FSD beta activated be found guilty of violating not only traffic rules, but also the provisions of the autopilot program usage, they will be punished accordingly. We're talking not only about your standard warnings and fines, but also about contacting the company that will stop the offender's participation in the program and probably ban their FSD usage for a certain period of time. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.